Hey, hello guys, welcome back. Today, the paper I've chosen for discussion is 2022 November paper 2. And in this paper, we'll look into task 6 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. So for this, we need PowerPoint. Let's open a blank presentation. All right. Now here, create a presentation of six slides using the file n2202results.rtf. So this RTF file has to be imported into this PowerPoint application. To do so, you will click on new slides choose slides from outline click on slides from outline and go to your folder and find for n2202 results and insert the file here so the file appears here in the slide format and if you notice there are seven slides in this file here the question paper says it has to be only six slides so here the first slide is always an empty slide so you will delete that empty slide and make it six slides in this presentation moving on unless and otherwise instructed the slides must display a title and a bulleted list so you will have to make sure all slides have a title and bullet list okay unless and otherwise the paper as instruct us to change it we will not change the layout now moving on step 22 use a master slide a master slide to add all these features that is we want to add all these features so that it uh, gets repeated or replicated to all the other slides we just add this once on the master slide so that it gets replicated on the all the other slides okay to get a master slide you go to view tab click on slide master and always the editing on the master slide has to be on the first slide so that it appears on all the slides okay now the first element to add is a thick black three to point three to four point wide horizontal line across the width of the slide about three centimeter from top okay so to know the first thing we have to add a ruler so that we will know the points we have the ruler here already so you will make sure you have a ruler if you don't have the ruler you go to view tab and check the box ruler so you get rulers so it is easy for us to uh, get approximately three centimeters to measure three centimeters from top okay before that let's move the content and the title slide title uh, box a bit down here so that we have space to add the title now let's insert the shape that is a line Go to insert tab from shapes choose a line a normal line and from top you measure three centimeter now from here to here is one two three it is approximately from here okay so click from there and draw a line across the width of the slide and then it has to be a black color line change the outline of the color to black and there's one more thing to be set it has to be three to four point wide the line has to be three to four point wide so go to shape outline weight choose three points all right next the text 2021 event statics on one line in a large black font aligned to the top right. Okay, so the text, we will have to add this text and this text must be above the three to four point line. So we'll have to add this here on the top right above the line. So let's insert a text box first, insert 
choose text box, draw a text box above the three to four point line and then type in the text 2021 event statistics. And then this has to be in a large black font. So highlight and increase the font size. And you'll have to remember this has to be on one line. It has to be on one line that is also mentioned. So yeah, that's done. Next, automated slide numbers on the top left. So you have the hashtag box here. Reduce the size of the box and move it to the top left. Okay, now here to add the page numbers, go to insert tab, header and footer, check the box slide number and click apply to all. So the number doesn't appear here because we are in the designing mode. Okay, when we get out of the master slide, we'll be able to see the slide number. Now, your name, center number and candidate number. So let's insert header and footer. Footer, check the, foot, check the box footer and type in your name, center number, followed by your candidate number and then click apply to all so it appears on the footer you can leave the footer here or any at any desired position because it's not mentioned uh, it should be at any any particular position now there's date here let's delete that now we'll have to make sure that master slide items appear in the same position on every slide and it doesn't overlap any slide so we'll any slide yeah any items on the slide so we'll have to check if all these elements appear outside the master slide to close the master slide go to slide master click on close master view so you have the elements added here so all six slides will have all the features added including the slide number now moving on to the next step use the data in the file N2202 outcomes, this is an Excel file, to create a vertical bar chart. Okay, let's open the file outcomes. All right, we have the file here. Okay, now here we are supposed to create a vertical bar chart for only the top six ranked countries. So for the top six ranked countries, it is here, one to six, and then it has to show the names of the countries and it has to show the average competitor points. Okay, so these are the elements to be present on the chart, the names of the country and then average competitor points, just these. So how to highlight is you highlight the country from 1 to 6, B1, B2 to B7 you highlight, hold the control key on the keyboard and highlight F2 to F7. Now insert tab, go to insert tab, recommended charts, choose the clustered column which is a vertical bar chart, click OK, you get the chart there. And then now here on the category axis, you will have to name it country and on the values, you will have to name it average competitor points. Okay, the name is given here. Label the charts. Chart title has to be top six countries in 2021. So change the chart title to top six countries in 2021 it has to be capital letters here okay next value axis and category axis so let's add value axis and category axis click on chart elements and check the box axis titles so there you have it 
Now, the value axis is average points. So change the value axis to be average points. And then the category axis title, change it to country. Country. Okay, next. Display only the data values at the top of each bar. So to get the data values, click on chart elements again and check the box data labels. And you have the uh, labels on top of each bar. Now, next, format the value axis. The value axis are here. So click on the value axis. You're going to format this. Right click. Sorry, you will have to format the value axis. Huh? Right click on value axis choose format axis and there you have it so here the minimum value they say it has to be zero minimum it is zero next maximum is supposed to be 32 change maximum to 32 and then next increments of four so here units major you will have to change it to four increment is major decrement is minor enter now next we'll have to place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title event entries so copy the chart go to the powerpoint find for the slide with the title event entries and this has to be placed to the left of the bullets so move this towards the right so that you have some space on the left for the chart and then paste the chart move the chart to be on the left enlarge the chart and then next we are done with that make sure no words in the chart are split all the words must be in one line and then all data labels are fully visible every data and the labels have to be fully visible no legend is displayed make sure there is no legend at the bottom or anywhere on the chart the chart and its content do not overlap any slide item so make sure it doesn't overlap any slide item be it the title the content the footers or anything it shouldn't overlap now moving on print only this slide as a full page slide in landscape orientation okay to print just this slide so it is slide number two file print choose print current slide or you can type the slide number and make sure this is a full page chosen as a full page okay and then moving on format the bullets on slide three four five and six so let's go back so it is three four five and six all these has to display as numbered list starting from one on each slide in ascending order as one to six okay so let's start from three highlight the content the bullet so change it to one two three okay apply number bullets five and then finally slide six also click on the content and then apply number bullets next save the presentation you will save the file and then next print the presentation as a handout with six slides to the page so to print this as a handout with six slides print choose print all slides change the layout to six slides you have here six slides choose six slides and you have it here so in one page you get all six slides printed choose the correct printer and click print okay that's the end of this paper i hope that was helpful we will see you on the next video with a new paper see you guys thank you bye bye